It isn't every day the Indian River Reptile Zoo plays host to some government officials. As Todd Purvis reports, Canadian wildlife officers were there to learn the finer points of reptile handling. One of the responsibilities of wildlife officers is to inspect shipments of protected animals crossing the border to make sure that everything is legal. About a dozen officers have spent three days at the reptile zoo learning about various kinds of snakes, lizards and crocodiles that they may encounter during an inspection. Today they are doing their practical component, learning how to handle venomous snakes um, safely using all the appropriate tools that we provide them with. And then later on this afternoon they're going to be learning how to handle um, a shipment. And we're actually going to be making mock shipments of them with crates that they'll open up and not know what exactly is inside. And they'll have to use their skills they've learned over the past couple days for how to deal with whatever they find in the crates. CITES, which is the Convention on the International Trade in Endangered Species, and there are several species of reptiles that are protected under this international convention. And uh, our officers need to be able to handle those animals, live animals, safely um, and be able to uh, do it in a manner that is uh, also being safe for the animals and safe for the officers as well. Looking in on the sessions was a group of about a half dozen environmental officials representing the government of Chile. The Canadian government um, has a free trade agreement with Chile that they drafted in 1997 and so currently right now looking at how we handle our animals and hopefully they may be able to take some of that knowledge that they've gained today and implement them in, in their country. I'm a veterinarian and I work for the police. Now I'm a police officer, so we do the enforcement for the wildlife. Our group in the police, we have a, I'm, I'm part of the environmental crime department for the police investigation. This facility was chosen to do the training because it is the only accredited reptile zoo in the country.